and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about running and kind of about my little, how I've gotten into running and my kind of little fitness journey. This video probably isn't just going to be about running. I was going to do it just about running, but I think it's going to be a little bit of combination between um, kind of food as well and kind of just health and well-being in general. I don't really know where to start with this one to be honest. I thought about writing down notes and kind of making it a bit more tips for running or tips for exercising but I thought do you know what I'm just going to keep this quite casual and talk about my running experience and my experience with exercise and things in a little bit more of a natural way. A bit of history <laughs> into my exercise. Um, I've always been active as a child. No. I've always been quite active as a child. My dad used to take us out on walks and adventures all the time. So I was always very active. I've never been particularly like super unfit or super overweight as far as I know, I don't think. <laughs> um, but there's been phases, obviously like I'm 30 now. So there's been phases from when I was about 15. It's one of those things, isn't it? When you're a child, it's up to your parents to get you into exercising and make sure you're not sat down for too long, make sure that you eat the right kind of foods and things. I was always a really, really fussy eater though. Um, it was one of those things, I probably wasn't when I was really, really young, but then I just started getting really, really picky. And obviously your parents kind of have to just go along with what you want when you get to a certain point and you get to a certain age. You want what you want, you won't eat what you, <laughs> you don't want to eat and that's it. So yeah, I kind of didn't eat many vegetables really. I liked carrots and potatoes. Our standard meals were meat and veg, but veg as in like literally carrots and potatoes for me. Um, I didn't like broccoli, I didn't like sprouts, I didn't like peas. There were so many things I didn't like. Um, but over the years, <laughs> as you become an adult, you kind of realise you have to eat your vegetables and you have to eat your greens. But I've I'm like really addicted to tender stem broccoli, it's like my favourite broccoli in the world and like I eat it all the time. So I've definitely gotten into vegetables more. So I do eat a kind of healthy diet now. I don't, sp I am not very good at having, like going on diets. I really like my food. I like bad stuff. I, so I try and eat good stuff, but at the same time, I love cake, I love biscuits, I love sugary tea. There's like, I've come to understand the amount of times I said when I was in my 20s, I'm on a diet and I never actually did it. I do it for like a day and then, I don't know, you just say you're on a diet, don't you? You think that's gonna make you skinny and it doesn't work because you have to actually make the effort to change things. Um, anyway, I did performing arts, it, that's, my, that's my diet story. I did performing arts in college, so I did a lot of dancing and a lot of, um, walking around the space in drama and <laughs> a lot of just being active. So when I was in college, I was a couple of years older because I went a little bit later than everybody else. I was a few years older than the people there and I always used to think I was fat, but when I look back at pictures now, I wasn't. Like I really wasn't. I look at my arms in pictures and I'm like, I was really skinny, why did I whinge? But it's one of those things, isn't it? A lot of us see you know, it's like a body dysmorphia thing. A lot of us see ourselves completely different to what we are. And looking back, it is strange because I do look and I'm thinking, I full on thought I was fat and I don't understand how when I look at the pictures now. Um, but I think it was because I was a bit older than other people, whether this is the reason, I don't know. I, I, I felt like, because I was older than other people, I was a bit more developed than other people. I kind of just, I don't know, just looked older and then I just wasn't like a really skinny young person. I don't know, I felt like the age thing, but I might be completely wrong, but it made me feel bigger than other people. <laughs> like, I don't know, no idea. But obviously being in the performing arts kind of thing, it is one of those things where the, what you look like and when you're dancing and things, it is one of those things that you concentrate on what you look like, so it kind of can just consume you a little bit. Anyway, after that, a few years later, after uni, or maybe it was during uni, I joined a group of Bollywood dancers, and 
oh, we had some amazing times. I used to go to the dance class on a Wednesday evening every single week to rehearse and kind of, it was like a full on fitness class. It was brilliant and it was that kind of thing that's just fun so you don't even realise you're exercising. And then we used to do shows and stuff so that was like a massive workout. And then after quite a few years that came to an end and this was a couple of years ago now. And after that, it was, it had been a good few months and it was over Christmas as well, it was after Christmas as well and I'd realised I'd eaten everything that I wanted over Christmas and I realised I wasn't doing any exercise. Yes, I go for walks, yeah, in day-to-day -day life, yes, I just, I don't know, housework is a workout, you know, things like that. I don't just sit around and laze around, but I didn't do any specific workouts that really got you sweating and worked on different muscles and things. So I realized, oh, I kind of need to do something. So then me and my friend joined the gym and my friend Hannah, she had done bodybuilding. She'd been in a bodybuilding competition before. So she knew how to use all the weights and things. And when I'd been, I had been at the gym, quite a few years before I joined the gym but I didn't really go much and I only really used the cardio stuff I'd never touched the weights because I just didn't understand them or know what to do with them and didn't really think I wanted muscles I know that I can't diet and just cut down my diet completely and lose weight that way yes I can adjust things yes I do try and eat more food and so sometimes I might say one week just say right I'm going to really really concentrate and not eating too many snacks this week I'm but everything's in moderation. I can't cut things out completely because if I do that, I will just, I know I will binge. I've done it so many times where I've gone not eating any chocolate and then it gets to the weekend, for example, and I'm just like, give me all the chocolate in the world. I don't care anymore. And if I deprive myself of stuff, I know that I'll do that. So I'm, I've just learned myself. So I joined the gym with my friend Hannah and she showed me how to use all these weights and things. And oh my God, it felt so good. Um, so for, like after a couple of months I was literally just going around to everybody who I hadn't seen in a while and going oh my god look at my muscles look at this I've never had this before um so the thing that's the thing though I've never done muscle workouts so I like I've never seen myself have muscles and I was getting all excited I know this might look really pathetic because you're thinking where's the muscle but I do have a little bit of a muscle going on Anyway, so I did that for quite a few months and I did find that I felt better in myself. Obviously, I didn't become a bodybuilder, but I just kind of got a few muscles going on in places that I hadn't seen before. Um, I still think that my legs are really fat. I still think that my arms are flabby. That's just, yeah. And that's fine. That's fine. But anyway, I'll talk about how I feel about myself in a bit. Let's stick to the story. Okay, so... We did that for quite a few months and then was it February, March, April, May, it was about four months I think and then I have another friend who, I have another friend, I have, I have two friends um, who does, he's very into running and, and it's funny because she started exactly like I have having never run before and suddenly to have built it up. And then she's entered a marathon now. She's done half marathon, she's done a metric marathon, and now she's just entered her first full marathon. And it sounds so ridiculous. The amount you have to run is just crazy. She did her longest run ever the other day. Four hours. Running for four hours sounds utterly ridiculous to me. So, as you know from what I've just explained about my exercise through my life, I've never ran before. And I thought, I'm never going to be a runner. I'm never going to be able to do this. But she took me out for a run one day. And it was just spontaneous, really. I said, oh, I'll come for a run with you and see how far I can go. And we did 5K. And I was just like, really? I, I can run 5K? Just, just like that? And I was really shocked and just really proud of myself and impressed and, and I, I'd really enjoyed it and I and we'd been talking the whole time as well and I thought hmm this is interesting <laughs> and we had a really really nice summer last year so I got into running basically I started going about three times a week at first I started just doing I, I quit the gym 
because I thought running's free and the gym costs me like 30 odd pound a month. Oh, I did go swimming as well when we joined the gym last year. I did try and go swimming quite often. Um, not as often as I went to the gym though. I love swimming and I would like to get back into that actually. Anyway, about running. <laughs> so I started off going out on my own and running 3K and occasionally I'd run a 5K. And then I just made sure that I don't really know how this happened or how I got into running. I really don't understand how how it became a habit because you, you do these things, don't you think, okay, I like it, but how am I gonna really get that to be a thing that I do constantly? Because I've always found that that is hard to do. But they say there's a certain amount of days, don't they, where something becomes a habit. I think it's 30 days or something, but anyway. So whether it was just that and I just, something came over me that I just kept doing it and it was because I was enjoying it. So if you find something you enjoy, obviously go for it. If you don't enjoy running, it's one of those things. Obviously there's days that I don't enjoy running and I'm like, do I really want to go for this run? I'd rather stay inside. But there's something that every single time I do it and after you've finished it, you feel amazing. I have this feeling when I run that I'm literally superwoman. I feel like I can do anything. It's a massive mental thing as well, I find, with running. With a lot of other exercise, I don't get this, but with running in particular, you've, well, I mean, obviously, with other exercise, you do get this, but for me, so much of it is your mental strength because your body can do so much and your body can do more than you think it can do. So if you stop when your mind's just like, oh, I can't run anymore, then you're not going to run very far, but you have to really push through. Like there's so many times where I've been running, you'll get you'll get a you'll get a phase when you feel great, and you're like, I could do this, I could do this for ages. This is great. This is how I run. Um, and then suddenly you get this point, and it's just like, oh my god, this is the worst. <laughs> I cannot run. This is horrible. <laughs> and then it's almost like you have to like daydream away and like not concentrate on the fact you're running. Well, that's why I listen to books when, when I run so that my mind just thinks about something else. But you, sometimes you get hung up on it and it's really, really hard to pass through and you're just like, this is this is horrible, this is so hard, I can't do this. So anything that, you know, you do have to push through, I think everything comes out when you, when you run. When you've got to have a struggle, you kind of learn about yourself and you learn whether you can do something like that or not but everybody can you can you just need to you just need to push yourself and actually like face whatever fear it is that's going on in that moment just push through it and I feel like saying trust me trust me it'll work I don't know who am I to say but I feel like it can I feel like it does so yeah I started going for more 5k's then and not just 3k's and then I've been doing that for months now. Like I've almost been running for an entire year and it feels amazing. But honestly, when I run, it feels like because you've got to push so much mentally and because your body is doing something so physical and something that you didn't think it can do, you're running and you're like, I feel so powerful. I feel like I could accomplish anything and like get through any problems. I am, um, you know, I am amazing. I, I feel like that when I run. I <laughs> know it sounds ridiculous. And I look like a tomato seriously another thing that's always this has hung this has been a hang up of mine as well all my life because I'm ginger my face goes so red when I exercise so red honestly I see people at the park run that I do I don't see anybody with a face as red as mine but I used to be so self-conscious of it but as you get older it really is an age thing and a thing of just accepting who you are and just not caring that people are looking at you or people care because everybody's got their own thing going on no one really is looking at you you were just you've really got to just be it is a hard it's a hard thing it really is I get you know I'm not saying I'm amazing at this and I don't care what people think and I'm I've got so much confidence and because I haven't really but you just you kind of have to you kind of have to fake it till you make it you kind of have to just it takes a lot. It's a lot. I'm not a counsellor. I can't exactly talk to you about how to do this, but somehow I have changed over the years. I have become more like, I don't care 
what people think but obviously I do sometimes a lot of the time but somehow I just <laughs> portray that I don't care and I just kind of get over it you've just got to kind of get over yourself as well because people really aren't looking you and looking at you as much as you think they are everybody's got their own things going on okay my face is red but I am running and trying to get fit and I'm doing it for myself and I love this so who cares really like who cares <laughs> I'm doing it for me so yeah going to the gym and stuff when I was younger you know terrified me but I just I just got over it last year and thought Do you know what I'm going to the gym if people can look at me they can laugh at me they can do whatever they want I am here for me this is my life this makes me feel better I'm doing it so that's what I did <laughs> but yeah with running so I look terrible when I run I look awful and that's just the way it is but I do it and I feel good and a couple of months ago I did a 6k so I went like 1k more and I was like oh my god because when I do a 5k sometimes most of the time I feel like I couldn't run a second longer I couldn't put one more foot in front of the other it just no I have to like collapse at the end honest many time when I finish the 5k for the park runs I am um, everybody just finishes and it's like oh I'm done I literally collapse I had to sit on the floor last time and I go to give them the you've kind of got you've got a little slip of paper yourself with a barcode on they have to scan it and then they give you something else I don't even know what order that happens in something happens they give you something they scan something and I, I'm so like out of it by the end of it I'm just like I don't know what's happening and I'm always just like are you okay and I'm just like <laughs> It's not a pretty sight, it's not a pretty sight, but I've done it and I feel great afterwards. Um, anyway, so I've done 6k a couple of times on my own and then I thought to myself, okay, okay, let's try and build this up now. It's time for me to think about entering a 10k race this year because my friend's been bugging me to do it. She's just been like, just enter it because she started off just doing 5k's and then she did a 10k and then now she's entering a marathon. It's crazy. And I still don't really see myself, I don't know, kind of do, I kind of do see myself as a runner, but not like a, a runner runner. Like when you, when you do the park runs, you'll be halfway through and the people at the front are running past you, like heading back, they complete it in like 15, 20 minutes and I take 32 minutes as my best time, like twice as fast as me and I'm just like what I literally look at them in all the stuff in past like how what how are you doing this <laughs> I don't understand but everyone's at, everybody's at different levels aren't they and I'm probably never going to be one of those people at the front but I don't know what my point was <laughs> um I don't know I kind of see myself as a runner now but not one of those runners not like a serious runner just like a casual runner <laughs> casual jogger so I, I thought to myself, okay, I've done 6k a few times now. I think I'm enjoying this. I think what I'm going to do is try and build this up. And I really, like, it would be an amazing for me, amazing achievement if I entered a 10k and did it this year. So I did 6k last week and then I went out a few days later. And I was going to do the park run in the morning. But I'm more of like an afternoon, evening runner. I get up in the morning to run. I don't really have the, like, before breakfast, I don't have that energy. I need to have eaten like a while before so sometimes you know it's not I just wasn't feeling like getting up for the park and I thought do you know what I'm gonna have a lay-in so I did that and then I thought okay to make up for it I'm gonna go for a run later on I'm gonna go for a 6k I'm gonna do it so I went out and it had been I'd done a couple of k and then I thought do you know what I'm feeling really good definitely gonna do six maybe I could even just try and do more so I thought I'm gonna take it as slow as I can a nice slow pace because obviously if I'm doing a fast pace I know that I'm aiming towards 3k or 5k and I'm just I know when I'm gonna finish but because I thought I'm gonna do a little bit more and I don't know how much more I'm gonna take it really slow and just completely see how far I can go and because of the route that I'd taken I was going to go home and do six and then I, I and then I'd had it and then I thought do you know what I'm still feeling okay I'm gonna run even further the other way so off I went the other way again 
and then then I realized I got to 5k and then I realized because I kind of know in my head about like the route that I take I kind of know how far each bit is and I knew from where I was there was about 3k to get home and I'd just done five and I thought I'm just gonna see if I can carry on and run all the way till I get home and I did it and I did 8k and I couldn't believe it and I was just like I've just jumped from 6k to 8k just out of nowhere and that's made me go oh my god I can actually do 10k probably I mean it doesn't mean that I mean I might not be able to do this last two but I thought I can actually do this if I now make sure when I go out on my runs I push for you know always at least six and you know never just do five now just always push and I might actually be able to enter a 10k so I'm looking out for the best one to enter because I want it to be like a flat race because I, I only really occasionally go up hills and stuff I've not really done a lot of training on hilly places so I want something nice and flat um yeah so I hopefully will do that soon how I feel about myself now this is really hard <laughs> um I don't think is anybody ever truly happy with everything on their body I, I don't know but I don't know whether it's turning 30 or getting to this kind of age um having learned a lot about yourself and just knowing I know that I just want to be the best I can be I just want to and it's not all about looks it's not all about your body but it's about your mind and it's about how you feel and obviously we all care about how we look I want to look my best but I want to feel my best and I want to and I know I'm not going to be you look at other people and you're like oh I'd love to look like that you know that you're probably never going to look like that you know what your body can look like and you know that you know what your best would be if you was I don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I need a cup of tea. <laughs> I don't know what I'm getting at. <laughs> I'll try and I'll try and run this up. <laughs> I am happy with I all I want to do is be happy with myself. Be happy with who I am as a person. Be happy with that I look the best I can and just that I'm doing the best for myself, but being happy. Okay to look my best I might have to fill myself with all the salad in the world and exercise every single day and then my body will be its best but that's not what I want I want a combination of being happy in myself I would be bloody miserable if I just ate salads all day every day so I want to have that compromise of being happy relaxing and eating what I want and also going out and exercising and actually feeling good about it I want that and that is how I feel like I'm balancing my life at the moment. I feel like I've gotten to that point where I'm not going to do things that other people want me to do just because that's what, I don't know, what, what they enjoy. I want to do what I enjoy and I enjoy running. I enjoy spending my time running, playing games, um, looking after myself, just spending time with Jim, spending time with my friends. I enjoy a bunch of things, you know. But I'm going to do those things that I enjoy now. This is like, yeah, I don't know whether this is me hitting 30. I really, I just want to do what I want now. <laughs> Nobody else. I want to make videos for YouTube. That's what I want to do. And that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, that's about, <laughs> that's about the end of this video. I know this video was supposed to be just about running, but it turned out to be my life story. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> if you want to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments and just let me know about any kind of video you'd like to see from me. And if you enjoyed this, please stick around and subscribe. And yeah, I will see you next time. <laughs>